What's up guys, today I am uploading something different because uh, my Elgato is broken for some reason and um, I found a way to kind of fix it. Today is not going to be a absolute fix, it's just going to be an alternative route, um, kind of a way to sort things out. So as you can see on the screen, this is the issue I'm getting. It's detecting signal and then it's just saying this instead of giving me the option to plug my HDMI's in. Even when I do, nothing even comes up. All my settings are right, it's all connected properly, but... Um, there's obviously something wrong with the drivers or something but um, today I'm going to show you a way around it I've tried I've tried loads of different methods loads of troubleshooting and it hasn't worked yet so I will leave a link down below to some other videos if this one doesn't work for you but um, it should definitely work as long as you've got a 64-bit computer uh, like I do but if you don't then um, you just basically have to do the opposite of what I'm doing so you go to their website and um, I'll leave that in the link as well it's a secure website so you don't have to worry about that and you click on this thing if you've got the HD60 and then it says 32-bit uh, system here now I've got a 64-bit system but um, I took the risk and I downloaded this version right here so uh, this thing uses different drivers different um, software to the other thing obviously because it's 64-bit and this is a 32-bit and as you can see it's got a little 32 next to its name just warning you that this is completely different to when you're using but the software itself is the same so this is what's happening with the 64 bit and then you click onto the 32 bit here and then uh, you have to wait for it to load up um, right here we go so it's doing the exact same thing however if you just give it a second text the signal and then um, because it's using different drivers I suppose it actually just works this time um, it's not it's uh, a bit glitchy because it's a 32 bit on a 64 bit system but um, as you can see PS4 is loaded with my Black Ops on. Um, you can do all the same functions, all the same things. Um, I don't know if it's just because my laptop's not the best that it's a bit glitchy for me, but um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. I'll show you a demonstration in a little while of uh, gameplay that I've recorded with the 32-bit system. Um, the settings are all the same as what I had last time. I'm just recording in 720p, so it's not too heavy on my PC. And um, yeah, it's because I'm using a screen recorder, you can't actually tell how how good it's working but on screen it's working fine and when I'm not recording that comes up fine um, as you can see the settings are exactly the same as what I had in the 64 bit system the settings for some reason like they know each other they're connected in some way but the drivers are probably different because it's actually working on this version um, so I reckon I'm going to have to load up the uh, video of me playing a bit of COD um, I'll probably upload this video as well um, did do a commentary over it but this will probably be uploaded another time. Um, this is just the raw gameplay file. Me playing a bit of gun game. And as you can see, it's perfect quality. Um, but I have stretched the screen because um, I've been editing this video, so it's not going to be in um, like the, this full screen mode you'll be used to. On your laptop, it will come up normally for you guys. But yeah, as you can see, it records quality perfectly fine. And um, if you have any uh, questions or anything, just leave them uh, in the bottom, in the comment section below. I uh, don't know what else to say really. This is the only fix I've found for mine. It's the only alternative route I've found to be able to actually record. Um, if you have any information for me how to fix it, then uh, I'll be grateful for that. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.